Hey, it's Jason from Queen Right Dial, and we are back here in the apiary at Bohemia Apiary on the eastern shore of Maryland. And uh, we showed a video prior related to having a, a long hive and using the Queen Right Dial really to manage those segments if you break it out into the individual nooks like we do. Um, naturally, we have one, two, three, four hives in this long hive. Uh, there's a double uh, five frame, so 10 frames, five frame, five frame, five frame, and there's nothing in this end one over here on the end. Um, and we marked them as such, right? So naturally we've got some, we have made a queen in this section up here at the front. Um, we have a dial on both of them because there were two segments and if we wanted to ever split them, we could. Um, we have uh, them marked as a last year's queen because there is a last year's queen in here. Uh, so that's very easy to tell that. Uh, the three ones in the middle, you might've saw in a prior video, I'll put a link in the description below, where we use this to um, mate uh, new queens or build new queens with walkaway splits. We had three uh, nooks that we um, we had put um, eggs in and uh, they were split off this main hive over here, this main queen, she was from last year's queen. And we have these three and we uh, we're gonna, we went into them a couple weeks ago, actually several weeks ago, and identified that we did have a mated queen. So um, the dial, we moved it to mated queen, as you can see down here. Um, so all of them are green, which means we have a mated queen in them. So this is really good if you are looking to try to sell queens, right? So a lot of people um, you know, try to find a way to keep beekeeping affordable. Um, beekeeping is definitely an expensive hobby. Uh, and if you have a local uh, need in your area for mated queens, uh, you, know, you don't want to ship them necessarily. That's a, for larger operations. But for just singles, onesies, twosies, things like that, for your neighbors and other beekeepers that are in the area, you know, you could sell your queens. I mean, queens, a mated queen in some regions of the country can bring you anywhere from $35 to $40, sometimes even higher. We sell ours for $35. Those are mated queens, and that price has been that price for a long time. We haven't changed that price. Um, that's here at Bohemia Apiary. Uh, but I'm here really to talk about how you can use the queen rate dial to do that, to, to go in there and say, okay, I've got a mated queen now. I'm going to sell it, and what do I do next? So let's see what we got to do. We get in here and identify that mated queen and to sell, and we'll go from there. All right, again, so on the queen right dial, we've left the mating indicators on the right. There's actually, again, you can replace them with the, the, the queen status indicator, which is, indicates what year the queen um, is. So, we, you know, naturally, if we had that on, it would look like that over here. Well, really would be a mated queen, mated queen this year. Okay, so that's what this really will look like. But because we're constantly churning uh, bees, and this is something you can do in your apiary, where you have designated nooks where you're constantly churning queens out, meaning you have almost like mating nooks, essentially. Um, you're taking uh, eggs or you're taking a cell, you're taking whatever, virgin queen, whatever you need, putting it in those nooks with bees and resources, marking what you have going on so that helps you remember. So let's just say we have um, no queen in here and we wanted to make sure that we set up for eggs. You know, today being the early part of July, you know, we could set it up such so that we have eggs Right? Or let's say we grafted cells in today's, and so we here we put a cell in there, right? Cap cell. Or that's a graft, actually. The cap's over here, sorry. So you're going to move the cap cell. So there now we have a capped cell in there. And we can see the timeline of when we can come back in, when we should see a mated queen, right? So these dials aren't active right now because we do have mated queens in them. But let's go ahead and make pull a queen out here to sell, and then we're, we'll mark him uh, accordingly on the uh, queen right dial. Let's get into the hive. Okay, so it is middle of the day here on the eastern shore of Maryland. The bees, the foragers are out heavy. We can do still see there's good bee volume down in those. And what we're really looking for is to make sure that we still do have a mated queen, right? So I'm gonna pull a frame here in the middle. I'm gonna pull out that frame and see what we have. All right, so it looks like they're bringing in nectar still. There's some wet nectar on the left-hand side of this frame, bringing in pollen, got some pollen over here. Um, the other side of the frame, capped, a lot of capped. That means we've had a queen in here for some time, as you know. But if you look down inside some of these cells that are open, they're not backfilling them with honey, uh, which is a little bit dangerous if you have uh, not enough room. You can see there are definitely larvae in all stages. Um, we can take that and look at another one down there. But if you see, sneak down in there and look, see, you got mated. Um, you got a mated queen because you got all these cells and she's laying that nice little brood pattern that you want. Let's go ahead and pull this to the side and see if we can find our queen. Okay, so we've located our queen and I apologize I missed that part of the footage. I thought I had record, but I didn't. Um, we put her in one of the Jay-Z-Beezy cages we have here. 
Um, you can see her down in there. She's marked green because she was this year's queen. When we found her before, we marked her. Um, we use these JZBZ cages because we really like how they introduce. Um, we use marshmallows in the end really easily that we don't have to mix up any fondant. It just does the same. You want to cap it off when you introduce that queen in a queenless hive. Uh, put some tape over it if you have the little caps for the JZBZ. That works as well. For at least the first 24 hours, let her pheromone start to proliferate out into the colony. Let the, the bees start to kind of get used to her. But now we're pulling a queen out. We're going to put two attendants in there, three attendants, whatever you can fit in there. Usually I look for the ones that are cleaning cells or drinking um, nectar, honey, because their bellies are full and they can help feed her and sustain her. Um, so let's go ahead and take her, put her safely away so she's out of the sun in my pocket. She's a... Okay, so we're putting the hive back together now. And when I leave a colony, I always remember I'm going to go tight and center, tight and center. That keeps the bees from building too much propolis between the frames like this gap right here. We can't have that. Because if they build that, then this violates the bee space between and they tend up making a lot of burr comb or cross comb. So let's, uh, let's close this uh, colony up and set our queen right dial. All right. I really do like these horizontal hives that we have from Ricky Rourke. They're just so so easy to work with and someone who's a keep, beekeeper that wants to just keep a few colonies and do things like this, maybe even sell queens like we're doing. It's great to have them like that. I suggest you look out. I'll put a link in the description below to his colonies. Um, I think I did it on the last video too, but I'll do it again because they're just such great colonies. It's great hives. It's not a colony. Colonies in the box. Hive is with the boxes. All right, so let's go and mark our dial, right? So what do we got here? We now are queenless. Yes, we are. We're queenless, so no queen. Today is the ninth, and we have eggs in there. We do have eggs. We identified it. So right now, we set our dial to the ninth, and what happens is we should come back by the 16th and see some cap cells, and then we'll leave it alone, and then we'll go on their mating flights, come back, and by the beginning of August, we will have a mated queen hopefully laying in this colony again. And again, we'll take this queen that we captured, sell her, and that takes a little bit of money to go back into our... Uh, our apiary and all the things that we do here at Bohemian Apiary. Well, there you go, folks. It's pretty easy. Um, that's why we invented the cream right dial. Brian from Castle Hives and I said that we just need an easy way to keep records and track. Otherwise, we would have probably written on all these covers. We would have had tape on them. You know, sometimes people put the bricks on it and we say ditch the brick, go with the queen right dial, get a set so that you can, you know, change it out if you happen to go queenless and using the mating dial on the other side of the dual dial. Um, that'll help you kind of monitor that, that timeline of when you need to be in there, what you need to be looking for, and help you kind of guide you through the process. We now can go and create a little revenue here for the Bohemian Apiary so that we can continue our bee operations on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, uh, and maybe buy a couple more Queen Wright Dials, right? Well, appreciate everyone watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos here from Queen Wright Dial, uh, and check out the, uh, Bohemia Bee Channel. We definitely do a lot of videos over there about the bees and our apiary on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Brian at Castle Hives, check out his channel. He does a lot as well uh, over in a lot of great content from him, uh, him and the stream team, uh, you know, Greg over at Nature's Image and Bruce, you know, at Bruce's Bees. They do a lot of great content. There's a lot of great YouTube cha uh, channels out there that I encourage people to go out and explore the world of universe. If you're trying to learn about bees, there's really not one way to do things. There's several ways, um, but we try to provide, you know, tips and things that are successful for us and our apiaries and share with the audience out there which is why we created the Queen Right Dial, because we know it could help you because it's helped us. So get yours online, queenrightdial.com, and uh, look for another video here coming soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.